So the materials we're gonna need to create our prints are our mono printing plate that we made in video two, our simplified Pysanky designs that we made in video one, and we're gonna need some colored paper and some white paper to print our designs onto, some Q-tips, a plastic tray or piece of cardboard or wax paper to put our paint on, some brushes to spread the paint on our mono printing plate, and we'll be using uh, whatever kind of paint you have in your home. So I'm, I'm using tempera paint and also acrylic paint will work and you can probably even use uh, water-based markers and color on the tinfoil and then use a wet paintbrush to spread the marker around if you don't have paint. Uh, paper towels, I have a wet one and a dry one and a cup of water to wash my brushes. And then we're ready to go. All right, so there's my mono printing plate. Remember, I've squished my handle flat on the back so that it's easier to work with. So I can put my hand kind of like through the handle and it's easier for me to pick up off of my paper once I've printed with it. So first things first is I'm gonna use my paintbrush to spread some paint. Then I'm gonna wipe off my design with my Q-tip and then I will press it onto my paper and have a look at what my design looks like. So I'm gonna start with just white paper. And one thing to think about when you're doing this project, I had um, a, an old art teacher who used to say, some art is for the wall and some art is for the heart. So that to me, like the this project is definitely one that's for the heart. It may not have the effect that you're hoping for. It may Sometimes they may not work out. Some of the prints may not look as nice as you expected, but it's just really the process, like the, the, the method of doing this. That's uh, the fun part. So we're kind of not really too focused on the final product. We're more focusing on uh, what it's like to do this. Okay, so you're noticing right now I've spread some blue paint on my tin foil, and I'm gonna try the swirl design. So I'm taking my Q-tip, drawing a nice little swirl. I don't have a lot of time. I don't want my paint to dry. So um, I'm just kind of going as fast as I can. and then I'm just pressing it down onto my paper. It takes a little while to figure out how hard to press down and how much paint to put on. And until you figure it out, so look, that one didn't turn out super well. It's a little bit light. You can't really tell that it's supposed to be an egg because it doesn't have very much paint on it. But that's okay because we're, we're doing this for the process and for the experience. So you don't need to wipe off your paint after every single um, after every single print, but if you want to change colors to use a different color, then you can wipe it off, or you can just go and mix the colors together. You'll see me do that later on. I'm gonna try a different color out here. So I'm spreading paint on the printing plate. And I'm gonna do the same process. You're gonna see me do this process a lot of times in this video. Um, so putting paint on the plate, wiping off my design with my Q-tip, and um, printing it on my paper. So let's try another design and see if it works a bit better. So this is why I have my designs in front of me so that I can look at them and quickly draw them on. Oh, also to note, this is a sped up video, so I'm not actually going this quick in real life. All right, that's a bit better, but it's still not showing my designs perfectly. That's okay, I'm just gonna keep printing. So there we go, I'm trying out my, my third design there. Pressing it down, I'm lightly rubbing the back and then lifting up. And I'm sure by now, since you've seen me do this a few times, you get it. So I'm gonna fill up a whole paper and I'm just gonna keep experimenting and keep trying 
until I get sort of some results that I kind of like or until I just get tired. Wow, that one worked. All right, let's keep going. All right, now I'm switching over to colored paper and I'm gonna use black paint. I think that black is often uh, a traditional color in Paisanki making. Um, remember our color symbolism chart? So black symbolizes um, like respect for spirits um, and red symbolizes love and joy and happiness. So you can think about those color symbolism choices while you're printing if you like. Um, so let's see if the black paint works a little bit better than the other paints. I think that as I continued on making more mono prints, my paintbrush got more and more wet from the water and it made the paint a little more smooshy and it actually worked out uh, better and better as I kept going. So throughout this video, you're just gonna see me continuing on uh, with this process and um, just having fun working through my designs. You do not have to go through every single uh, 16 different designs that you made, um, but you know, keep, keep going until you have a few prints, maybe two or three prints that you really like. So I made, as you can see, I've made like already four and then uh, two more, and I'm just gonna keep, keep working. So enjoy watching me uh, continue on and trying. I really ended up liking the black and red together. I think the contrast really worked out. So try to think about not only the color symbolism for Paisanki, but also um, what kind of colors have really strong contrast. So we want to do bright colors with dark colors or light colors with dark colors. Maximize the contrast. All right, so the remainder of this video is a time lapse. So as you can see, I just had a lot of fun. I just wanted to keep going and going. Um, there were certain paints that worked better than other paints. Some of these lighter colors didn't work the greatest. And then I started to mix colors together in this one. And this was my favorite group of four. So there it is. And that's a collection of all the prints I made. Well, I hope you enjoy this process and you make some art for your heart. Thanks for watching.